Hello everybody and welcome to another tier list video. For this one, we're going to be going through every book I have read so far in 2020. The year of awful. But hey, it was a pretty good reading year, so I'm I amped about that. I like that aspect of this year. Everything else was awful though. But yes, let's go ahead and jump on into this tier list video and rank the 40 books. It's exactly evenly 40 I read in the first six months of 2020. First up, we have one of my favorite reads and actually my first read of 2020, and that would be Sword of Kaigen. I called this Sword of Kagan the whole time in the review. Sorry about that. But this actually still is in my upper echelon of reads for 2020. I'm going to go ahead and throw Sword of Kaigen in the S tier because I genuinely think it deserves it. Uh, I hope even more people pick this one up as they uh, go off my recommendations here. And if you'd like to, of course, links to buy all these books in the description down below. But let's move on to the next one. Sword of Kaigen, by the way, still maintain future of fantasy. So ahead of the curve. I love it. Let's move on. Uh, we have Royal Assassin uh, by Robin Hobb, the second in the Farseer trilogy. For me, this is going to be an A tier. Uh, I liked it a good bit. I liked this whole trilogy. I didn't think there was a weak entry. And Royal Assassin might be my favorite of the three. No, Assassin's Quest. Assassin's Quest is my favorite of the three, but I, I did enjoy them all. Uh, Dragonbone Chair. This is the first of the Tad Williams books. I also have read the next two, but I don't have reviews up, so punishment for myself. I'm not letting myself put the next two on this tier list. I'm sorry. My bad. But this is a really good classic high fantasy tale. Doesn't totally change the mold or anything, but it's just well done. And I think ahead of its time in some ways as well in terms of character. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and throw this just below uh, Royal Assassin. We have The Forgetting, The Forgotten Moon. The Forgotten Moon, my bad. And we're going to put this one as probably a very high C tier for me right now. Brian Lee Dunfrey great first uh, journey into writing and a good epic fantasy, but we're already going to have this list be stacked with some like classics and some of the greatest of the genre. So I think a lot of good stuff is going to end up being kind of relegated lower just because, you know, I need to adjust this to have it. So it's actually capturing the tier spectrum for specifically what I've read. I've explained this like five times. You guys know what I'm talking about. Moving on. Reaper's Gale for uh, Malazan. Uh, for most Malazan, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in B. A lot of respect, not a lot of personal enjoyment. It's, it's a love-hate relationship with me and Malazan. And this list also will be a good way to see, like, I'm going purely off of how I remember how fondly I felt on the book when I finished it. And on top of that, I'm also going to include how I've kind of changed my opinion. Because, you know, yeah, I review something and put it out, but I'm allowed to evolve and have a different opinion as time moves on because, you know, I'm a human being. Amazingly. Midnight Tides. I did like this one more than Reaper's Gale, if I recall correctly, so I'll put that in a higher B right there. If It Bleeds by Stephen King. I, sh I wish I could break this down by individual short story, but they don't all have covers and we already have 40... 40 stories on here. So let's just go ahead and just move on through. I think I'm going to put uh, If It Bleeds as high B right now. Uh, it's Good King. There was a couple that I didn't love. Actually, no, I'm going to actually, no, 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 no. Because I remember there's a couple, there's a couple on here I wasn't the hugest fan of. I'm going to put If It Bleeds in high C. There are a couple of short stories in there I love, but there's one or two that were kind of bleh for me. So I'm going to keep it high C, even it out. You know what I mean? Got to even it out, take it all into account. Seven Blades in Black by Sam Sykes. Uh, that's gonna go just below Malazan. Uh, I liked it, I thought it was good. I didn't love it. So that's my overall thought there. Get out of here, email. I should have definitely turned off notifications. Oh no! Okay, I think it saved my spot, good. Bone Hunters. Oh, did I like that more than Reaper's Gale? Oh, it's my memory. You're also gonna see how freaking terrible my memory is. I'm gonna put it just above Reaper's Gale for now. Midnight, the, the Malazan books blend in my head more than any other series. I don't know why, but they do. Changes, Jim Butcher. It's the best of the Dresden Files. It's S tier for sure. Do I like it more than Sword of Kaigen? Ooh, I like them more than each other in different ways. I like I like what Sword of Kaigen's doing for the genre more, but I think in raw enjoyment factor, I like changes more. So I'm going to put changes higher purely based off of that. 
and I kind of hate myself for doing it. I don't know, but I love Changes. Oh my God, Changes is so good. Jade City, one of my best reviewed books of the year. I adore it. I'm gonna put it right up there in S tier as well. I'm just gonna worry about getting the things in the tiers they need to be right now. I'll worry about the order a little bit more later on. Do, do I wanna put it higher in Sword of Kaigen? Yeah, I'm gonna put it higher in Sword of Kaigen. I am. Ah, uh, I don't know. That's tricky. That's tricky. Jade City's so good. Furies of Calderon by Jim Butcher. Uh, I actually, I like this one. It was solid. Uh, I'm gonna put it right in here with If It Bleeds. I'll put it above If It Bleeds. I'm expecting to like later entries in this series more, believe it or not. Uh, but I, I don't have uh, the, the, the strongest passion for uh, Furies of Calderon. So we'll see how it is. The Girl in the Stars. Mm. This one, I really tried hard in the review not to let the fact that I thought it was a big step down from the Book of the Ancestor quality affect the overall review. But if I'm going off enjoyment, that, that really tainted it for me. And I did not love The Girl in the Stars. Uh, I'm going to put it low C. I'm going to put it low C. Just it, It's still good for Mark Lawrence and still many of his strengths as an author shine brightly. But personally, I'm kind of looking at it like, why couldn't you... <sighs> you know, so I'm hoping the later entries are a bit stronger and they'll make me like The Girl in the Stars even more. Uh, but it just kind of suffered from setup-itis, in my opinion. The Dark Tower, the finale to the Dark Tower series. <sighs> I, I really did like this one a lot, but man, I still don't know how I feel about that ending. It's so polarizing and I get the people who love it. I get the people who hate it. I get the people who are neutral on it. I feel all of those towards it. Uh, but Dark Tower for me, probably gonna go just top of A right now. Oh, that one anticlimactic ending with that one main pro antagonist. I just, mm. ah! you can't have that of an ending for that protagonist and I don't know this is gonna be hard where am I gonna put this screw it I'm putting it top of a because I just respect what he did here best served cold by Joe Abercrombie uh, this one this one is maybe my favorite Abercrombie this and heroes are two so rock solid entries probably gonna put it right there next to Dark Tower. And Dark Tower is one of the greatest fantasy series of all time. So putting it next to the ending of that is high praise. The Song of Susanna. Uh, I like this one more than I think most Dark Tower fans, but I'm just going to put it on top of B right now. Hounded from Iron Druid. This one is one of the ones that I've kind of just gotten more mugh on as time has gone on. It's kind of just the more I think back on it, the more it just gets, yeah, it's fine, but I don't have any strong feelings. Uh, and if C's average, I'm gonna put it slightly below average and put it in D. I'm sorry for you Iron Druid fans. I also was not gonna continue the series because a lot of people told me it goes downhill. It won't necessarily be worth my time. Uh, and I got so many series I gotta go through. So this one just didn't inspire love from me. And it's gonna be our first D tier entry. Cold Days from the Dresden Files. This was a really cool, uh, you know, oh, next step for Dresden. I really like this one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this and do I, do I want to keep stacking A so high? I think I like it just a little bit more than Song of Susanna. So I'll just leave it there. House of Chains for Malazan. Uh, let's go ahead and just lump this in with more of the Malazan. Uh, I, I don't think I like this one more than Midnight Tides, if I remember correctly. Skin Game. This is definitely an A tier. Dresden. Uh, do I like it more? Th okay, not, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, the Expanse. This one's going to be an S tier for me. It's going to be just below Sword of Kaigen. Uh, definitely my new, like, oh, snap, epic sci-fi space opera feeling going on. Uh, really, really digging that. Oh, man, the part two of this video is going to be fun to do because I'm, I'm going to start it off with Asleep Sleep in a Sea of Stars. So that'll be cool. Also look for the review for that coming early next week. Uh, Ghost Stories from Dresden. I get why this is so polarizing in the Dresden community, but I like it more, honestly, than Cold Days. I really like ghost story. I enjoy this alternative take, though I completely understand the uh, the Dresden fans who don't love it as much. White Knight, another solid Dresden book. Uh, I think this is actually one of my favorites, if I remember correctly, so I'm going to go ahead and put White Knight pretty high. Uh, should I just go ahead and put White Knight? I think I'll put White Knight top of B. Top of B for now. Wow. B tier is essentially Dresden, two books, and Malazan. <laughs> the Sandman by Neil Gaiman. This is a definite A tier for me. I think I'm gonna put it just below the dragon bone chair. Uh, then we have fifth season or the fifth sorceress, not fifth season, fifth season's good. The sorceress is trash. And I'm gonna put that in the new tier that I specifically made for fifth sorceress. That's just called no, no, 
No. 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 It's bat, bat. No. Uh, then we have Nevernight. I'm gonna put this below Hounded. It just was not for me. And if we're going on pure personal enjoyment, is D. I think I'd put it a little bit higher if I was going off like, yeah, I can see the appeal and respect all this, but this is a personal enjoyment list. I did not like Nevernight. And we have The Heroes from Joe Abercrombie. That's gonna be a pretty high one. Ah, man, okay. I really, do I like it more than Best Served Cold? I think I like Best Served Cold a little bit more. I love that revenge tale that's driving that story. I think I'm actually gonna put it just below the Dragon Bone Chair. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna put this for now. I'll rearrange these at the end probably. The Three Body Problem, so good, so fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna put this just above Sandman. Man, that's hard to choose between. Caliban's War, I wasn't the biggest fan of Caliban's War. I thought it was a clear step down from The Expanse in a rather large way. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it just above if it bleeds, honestly. I just wasn't the warmest on it, but I've heard the third book's really good, so I'm excited. Well, I've, I've read a lot of it, so yeah. Uh, so Malice, Malice I was solid on, liked it a good amount. Uh, I'm gonna put Malice, I'm gonna put it above some Dresden. I'm gonna put Malice right there. That's, that's gonna be my Malice ranking. Good for that one, good for you. Assassin's Quest. Uh, man, I think I like this more than Royal Assassin, but not as much as the Sandman. So we're putting that right there. Six of Crows is gonna be another D tier for me. It's just, I get it, but not for me. No, 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 not for me. Which one do I, uh, Nevernight or Six of Crows? I think I like Six of Crows more than Nevernight. Octavia Butler's Parable of the Sower. This is a brilliant book. Oh my God, it's so smart. So I'm gonna put it right above sort of, Kai actually I'm gonna put it above Jade City. Uh, this is maybe what my new all-time favorite dystopian sci-fi. It's so good. And it predicted the future. And the sequel predicted the future. Octavia Butler is secretly a prophet. Bloody Rose, really great follow-up to uh, Kings of the Wild. Not quite as strong as Kings of the Wild, but still really, really, really good. Uh, I'm going to put this in the top of B tier for me right now. Uh, I, it doesn't have quite the strength of Kings of the Wild, but I still really, really love Bloody Rose. Gideon the Ninth. Oh, I enjoyed this one. I got some pushback for the amount of love I gave Gideon the Ninth. Some people were like, you know, there's there's these obvious flaws, but I, I don't care if someone makes a reference to an earthly thing that, you know, shouldn't be available for them. Maybe it just is in this universe. I'm willing to just excuse it and not be bothered. Uh, I, I totally support it being nominated for all the awards it's being nominated for this year. I'm excited for Gideon the Ninth right now. Uh, and I'm gonna put it at the bottom of A. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it bottom of A right now. That's where that's gonna go. Peace Talks, the setup Dresden Files book. A lot of setup for what's to come and it did its job so well. I'm so excited for what is to come for Dresden because of this book. And uh, I, this is gonna be a mystery for me. I don't know, it's, it's just got my eye. It just depends on how, um, how well the payoff is delivered. It's gonna be really difficult to place. I'm definitely gonna put it above these Dresden books. Do I like it more than Skin Game? Probably not, because Skin Game's got a lot of a certain, certain holy character that I really enjoy. So I'm gonna put it just below Skin Game and with the potential to be bumped up depending on Battleground. Scythe. Scythe was one, again, I just felt it was held back by being YA. I didn't dislike it as much as uh, Hounded or Six of Crows or Nevernight, uh, but I, I did, I think I'm gonna put it low C. That's gonna be a low C tier for me. Uh, just was not vibing hard with it. Tigana single-handedly raised the bar in a lot of ways for what I think a standalone fantasy novel could do. The amount of world building, character work, everything here is better than I thought a single book this short could be. So that is solidly in S tier. I think only Parable of the Sower and Changes I liked more, uh, but maybe I need to think about that, I'm not sure. Toll the Hounds, that's another Malazan boy that I'm gonna put uh, below, if I remember correctly, House of Chains. <sighs> they blend in my head so much. And then we have Assassin's Apprentice, which I thought was uh, a good, very good, uh, but probably my least favorite of the trilogy, the more I think about it, and I'm going to put it below Skin Game. And that's all 40 books. That's all 40. Let's go reorganize. We have a job to do, and we're gonna get through this and make sure the solid ranking is right. So here, um, no. Changes gets dropped down below Tigana 
and Parable of the Sower. Uh, that for me, yeah. I, in fact, I'm going to put Tigana in top. Tigana for me is top. Then, yeah, this this is I'm pretty confident in this lineup as it sits. Yeah, that's that's a that's a rock solid S tier for me right there. I really loved each one of these books, and you know they all have flaws. You're welcome to not like them as much as me, but. Whew, this has been a good year for fantasy and sci-fi. A tier, do I wanna put Dark Tower top of A tier? No, I don't. I'm actually gonna take that below these three. And then Best Serve Cold, the Dragon Bone Chair, the Heroes, that's a good top three for A tier. Then we have uh, Three Body Problem. I'm gonna put that above Dark Tower as well. The Sandman, no, I'm putting Dark Tower above Sandman. Then we have two of the uh, Farseer books. I'm okay with that. Skin Game, Royal Assassin, or sorry, Assassin's Apprentice, Peace Talks and then Gideon the Ninth. All of these are really closely ranked. There's none of these that kind of sticks out as lower A to higher A. These ones, I could rearrange this all day. I could see myself putting Gideon the Ninth up there and like above these, it, it could really be rotated quite a bit. This is the closest tit knit A tier I've ever had. Bloody Rose is good, uh, but do I want to put it at the top of that? Yeah, maybe. Ah, uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure. This one again is also very tight. I think I'm gonna bring a couple Malazans a bit higher because I just do have a lot of respect for what's going on there. Uh, I'm actually gonna bring, hmm, hmm, Malice, what are you doing? I'm gonna bring Malice a little bit lower. Uh, that's, that's good. That's right. Maybe I'm scared. Uh, then we're gonna go into C tier here. Furies, uh, wow. Furies of Calderon, okay. Uh, Caliban's War, If It Bleeds. Yeah, this is a pretty solid C tier. And this is actually all of these in another list that wasn't so higher stacked towards these higher rankings would probably be in B tier. I just had so many good books I read this year. I also keep getting comments after because I've had a couple rant reviews recently that are like, Daniel loves to just hate on things. Look at this goddamn tier list. I love things. I have so many positive reviews. Just because you guys watch the negative reviews more doesn't mean I'm not pretty positive as a reviewer. I'm pretty positive as a reviewer. I would say I'm pretty generous. It's just when I hate something, then we have D tier, Hounded, Six of Crows, Nevernight, yeah, and then no, yeah, that that fits, that fits, that's that's accurate. I think this pretty much reflects my first six months of reviewing books in 2020. It's been a really solid first six months. I hope the next six months are as rewarding. We're gonna have some crazy big entries for this next six months as well. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff that's gonna be pushed out here. So yeah, let me know what you think of this tier list. I'll have it, of course, linked in the description down below. So if you'd like to fill it out yourself, you're more than welcome to. I can't imagine someone's read 100% of the books I've read, but if you have, fantastic. And I'd love to see these as well. I've also been encouraging people to make their own tier lists of books they've read off my recommendation and tweet them at me. I usually retweet them and talk about it and give my response because like that's just like my favorite thing now is seeing people who have read books I've recommended and how they feel about them. And it's really interesting to see how different people's tastes are. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one. Peace. And of course, I'd like to record a special shout out to my latest high tier Patreon, Justin.